Hey, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you some easy home decor DIYs that you can do at home. Most of the items are from the Dollar Tree. Some are not, but they're all easy to get. The style that I went for this time is a mixture of boho and modern and other type things going on, but they're all easy. They're quick to do and it's not going to take up a lot of your time or you're not going to need a lot of supplies. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to press the subscribe button so you can follow along on all of the DIYs that I will be doing. And I'm going to try to do some bigger projects soon also. So let's get started on our first project. For our first project, I wanted a certain shape bowl. I couldn't find them at the Dollar Tree, so I got these bowls from Target. They're about 79 cents. I do believe Walmart has similar bowls that are around the same price. These have cute little markings where I'm gonna use to follow as a guide to put these little legs. They're not legs, but they're stamps that I got from Michaels and they were on clearance and I thought they were cute because I was looking for little legs and I was gonna go to the Dollar Tree and then I came across these and I was like, these would be perfect. And you can also save the stamp part for later and use it just to attach something else to it to do your little stamp. So I'm just gonna follow along where the little markings are inside of the bowl to attach the legs and I'm hoping that everything will stand up right and I'm trying to mark it as good as I can with my eyeballs and my finger <laughs> to get it placed the right way. So once you're done attaching those, it works, it stands upright, so the little markings are great to follow along. So now I'm gonna go on to the next bowl before I finish off that one. But this one I used a drill bit of a three slash 32. I could have went up a bigger one, depending on your rope size and stuff. You're gonna to wanna to see how big you want your hole. I'm coming down just a little bit and I'm using the same markings that I used for the other bowl, just to mark where I'm going to drill the holes because this one is gonna be a hanging basket. So I drilled three holes in there and then I put both of the bowls to the side to go on to the next step. So now that you have both of your bowls, you can go outside and you can spray paint them. I'm choosing white for the hanging bowl and a metallic gold for the stand-up bowl. I changed my mind about how I wanted to paint the stand-up bowl. So what I did was painted some of the spray paint on there and then brushed it. And then I came back with some black paint, brushed that on there, but not, you know, to cover it completely. And then went over it again with some metallic paint to just dull it down and I guess it makes it look more like a brushed brass type look in my mind it does um so that was that for that one for the hanging bowl I went with like an ombre look because I didn't want to go with just the complete white and then what you're going to do is insert three strands of the rope tie them off in a good knot and then braid them into you know one single rope and then you're going to take those three ropes and tie them together so that now you can hang your little hanging plant making sure that all the knots are nice and secure before you're done and that's really it for that one so this is the metallic brass looking like one like i said in my mind which i think is super cute and then for the other one i think i'm going to go back in and spray paint it with a terracotta paint once I get some terracotta paint, which I don't have right now. But they're both super cute, they're both super easy to do, and basically they're like a dollar or so. All right, so now on to the next one. For the next one, it's another dollar store item. This is a little vase that they have, and then glue gun and some more of the twine jute style rope that they have. For this one, you're going to just glue this on. You don't want to over glue it because you will see the glue. So you're going to glue at the base and then wrap it around as tight and secure as you can. And then glue every few spots, not every few spots, every time you wrap it around, but every few rows as you're going up. You're going to glue it so like I said, you don't over glue it and then it'll look clumpy and messy. If you miss any spots, you can just go around again with a double layer just to fill in any gaps that you have and depending on how you want to do it you can go up as high as you want you can go low like i did you can use multi colors if you want to give it a different effect but this one you can make your own and it's quick and it's easy
And so for this one, you'll just style it with whatever plant or twigs or pompous grass, whatever you want to put in there. You put it in there and it's cute and it's simple and it has like a sleek type look, but with very little effort. All right, so we're done with that one. And now we can get on to the next project. And the next project is another Dollar Tree item. It's a basket. I love baskets because they're useful for stuff. <laughs> so I have an old braided belt. And if you're like me and you don't throw anything away, you probably have an old braided belt too. This one is a little worn, so I'm going to use it, but I think it'll add a little bit of character to the project. It isn't real leather, so it's not in the best condition, but it's cute for this. So I wanted to just make handles for it, but then I was like, I have more of it left. So I'm just going to put a strand around the bottom of the basket also, just to give it a little extra detail. So you're just going to glue it down. You don't have to be heavy with the glue because it is a basket and it has a bunch of openings in it. So the glue will just drip right through, but you want to just make sure that it is attached and you're just going to go around gluing every couple of spots so that it stays in place. Overlap it at the end and glue that down. And then you can move on to the handles for the handles. You're just going to determine what length you want the handles and then cut two of the same size and then insert them in one of the little openings there. So evenly space it out. I don't know what I was doing with the scissors there, but in my mind at the time, it probably made a lot of sense. But so the handles, you're just going to insert them inward, the little flaps in that you have cut and then fold it over and glue it down. Because this was an old belt, when I did that, it looked a little like it was about to fall apart because you can see when I cut them, they start to kind of like fray apart because it is a braided belt. And like I said, it is old. So what I did was come back in with yarn and just wrap some yarn around where I folded it over. And then it gave it another cute little element. And that's it for the basket. And like I said, super easy, super quick, doesn't take you any time. The basket cost a dollar and I already had the rope and the yarn, the belt and the yarn laying around. So that was it for that one. And that's another super cute and easy DIY. So then we're on to the next project. For this project, I wanted to try to create one of the crystals that you will see everywhere. You see my restoration hallway, you see them just everywhere. I wanted to see if I can create the look at home. So this was my first try doing it. I do think I would change a few things if I did it again, but what I took was some parchment paper. You could take wax paper, parchment paper, whatever you want. I wanted it to have a flat bottom, so I used a box, but I crinkled the paper up so it wasn't smooth on the outside because it's supposed to look like a natural rock. And then you're going to take about 3 million glue sticks, not really 3 million, but you're going to use about at least a half a pack of like the Dollar Tree glue sticks. And you're going to fill in all around making sure you do the sides all of the back you don't want it to be too high up you get what i'm saying like if it's laying on the back you don't want it to be too high up but you want it to be thick enough on all sides so that when you're done with it it stands up one holds everything and looks good so you can see that it's hard to see it because it's clear so when you pull it out you just fill in any empty spots or anything that you've missed and so i just went back in with the glue gun and filled in all those empty spots and because it is hot glue you can just snip away any scraggly ends that don't make sense for you and then i came in with this glitter if i did it again i would use a different glitter because this doesn't look exactly like the ones in the stores because it's not like it's glitter but it's not glitter i don't know it's like a little stringy strandy type thing but it gives that gold color that I want it. So what you're just gonna do is glue down, put on the glitter, shake it off like you do glitter, and then you can go on to the next step. I used crushed glass for this part. Um, you could just finish after this part. You could just put the glue down, press in the crushed glass, build it up as high as you want, and then have one of those caved in looking crystals. You know, the ones that look like they got a little scoop out of the middle. And that would be cute and you can finish it off right there but i wanted to try to get the big crystal look so what i did was take the glue sticks and then just cut them down short and give them little peaks and then it started to fall apart all right so i wanted to have a color effect in the middle so i came in with this pink which i thought was going to be so great when it was muted it is a loud pink i knew it was a loud pink when i started to pour it in but like I said, I thought it was going to be muted. I thought I could just dip the bottoms of the glue stick and it would kind of shine through. 
but it didn't work out that way. So I decided to pour more of the crushed glass in, try to stir that around, then place the glue sticks on top of it to just keep trying to mute it, but keep the color. But it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to work out. So then what I ended up doing was just covering up as much of the color as I could. But if I had to do it again, I would still try to color. I would just try a different color, not such a neon look because the neon I think was throwing me off and it didn't look natural but you can play around with it I would try to sample it a different type of way before I did it that way again if I tried a different color but it's super cute and it's like easy and it does resemble the crystals that I do see when I look at it I would just change a few things but I wanted to show it to you even though it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to turn out so once you're done with that part then you're just going to paint the sides whatever color you want to paint the sides paint it mine black and that's it you're done with that one And now for the last one, it's a DIY that's not a DIY. All right, what I saw was these tables at five and below. I went in there to try to find a trash can for my daughter. I couldn't find one, but I saw these tables and I was like, oh, that would make a cute side table. They were too short. I don't know what I was thinking when I saw the measurements. It was too short to be a side table for the couch. So I decided to try to make something else out of it. It's real easy to put together. You just unpack it and then it already has the little table leg attachment there. And then it has the screws already in the bottom of the leg. So you're just going to hand screw it in, make sure it's nice and tight. And then you'll have a table. So like I said, I brought three of these. So I wanted a stacking table type look. So I just put them together and arranged them like stacking tables. I'm going to try to find something to elevate the different legs, but just as is, it is cute, it's simple, and it's $15 for a little coffee table. So that's it for today's DIYs. If you like, please give it a big old thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and check out my other pages, which will be linked below.